All right, guys, we're going to be solving another question from the fourth chapter of the Merriam textbook, Engineering Mechanics. And this one, we need to determine the magnitude of the pin reactions at point B and C, knowing that the weight of the cylinder is 2,400 pounds. So we have two different pins in here, which means uh, we need to, to consider both X and Y components for each of these two. So if we just consider this, cx and this one cy and we're going to do the same thing for b and call it maybe bx and by so we're going to have four different unknowns in here which means we need four equations in order to find these unknowns but the thing is we only have three equations in total if we want to go with our equilibrium equations we're going to have some of all forces in x and y that's going to give us two equations and we can pick one moment equation as well. That's going to be three, but we're still one short. But what would be the other equation to help us solve this? The other equation would be coming from another concept, which is a two force member, which is the member beating here. If you look at it, there's only two force applying at two ends of this member. The force that is applying at point B will be along the line that connects B and C. So the force in VC is either like that or in the opposite direction of this. So let's just assume that this is our direction. So that way that's going to give us the relationship between BX and B walls. Let's just call it FBD for now. And since it will be along that direction, we have all the information about these dimensions. So now we are left off with three equation and three unknowns. We should be able to find all of these. And if we want to find that angle here, let's call it maybe alpha. We know that alpha would be tangent inverse of the opposite, which is this side, 3 over 5. And we can find alpha in here. So tangent inverse of 3 divided by 5. This is going to be 30.96 degrees. All right, now we can go with our equilibrium equations. Sum of all forces in x equals 0. Let's see what we have. We have cx. And we have the x component of FBD, which is going to be negative. So minus FBD cosine of alpha, which was 30.96 degrees. And from this equation, we have two unknowns. We cannot find anything. So let's move on to the second one. Sum of all forces in y equals 0. We're going to have the same thing. This time we'll have FBD sine of alpha or 30.96 degrees minus cy equals zero, same thing. And if we go with the moment about point C counterclockwise positive, uh, we're gonna have, uh, so in the previous one, I forgot to put the weight also. So we have also the weight minus W equals zero. So that was missing. And if we go with the moment about point C, we're gonna have the moment of the weight which is, which is in this direction, and we call it W. About point C, this is going to be in counterclockwise direction, so positive W times the length of A to C, which is 5 plus 5, or 10. And we're going to have the moment of FBD, but if we look at it, only the, this will be the X component of FBD, this will be the Y component, as we can see all the, this component is going to make moment, which is going to be again counterclockwise. So this one's positive. So plus FBD cosine of alpha is our X component. We can show our X and Y actually here too. Let's call our X and Y here. So FBD cosine of alpha would be the X component cosine of 30.96. And the distance would be the vertical distance to the line of action, which is going to be three. And as I mentioned in the videos that we were finding the moment in 2D, uh, we can consider any point on line of action for our position vector. Uh, for this one, this was my position vector because that's the line of action of the force. You can also do the same thing at point B. So you have the same thing, but this time you have the moment of Y component because the X component is going to pass through the point C. So position vector could be any point that we are trying to 
find a moment about, which in this question, we are trying to find a moment about point C to any point on the line of action of the force. And obviously we didn't go in the middle of B and D because it's just going to make our equation and finding the moment harder. So that's why it's easier to go either with D or B. And this will be equal to zero and we should be able to find the FBD from this equation. So it will be the weights from the question we know is 2,400 pounds. So 2,400 pounds times 10 divided by three times cosine of 30.96 degrees. Let's see what we get. So that's going to be 93, 29.16. So that's our force at point B pounds. I don't know why I put degrees. That's our FBD. And we just have to put our FBD in the first and second equation to, to find the CX. So here CX will be FBD. Cosine of 30.96. This is going to give us around 8,000 pounds for CX. No negative sign that shows that that's the correct direction for CX. And our CY would be FBD sine of 30.96 minus the weight, which was. 2400 and that's going to give us 2400 pounds for the cy and that's pretty much everything for this question all the reactions at point c and b so the key part of this question is the concept of two force member that's going to give us one more equation in here to find all the unknowns hope everything was clear let me know if you guys have any questions and you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one